So, hello everyone. Welcome to semester 3 of pre-medical sciences and welcome to the course on fundamentals of biostatistics. So, this is a four credit course so that you're going to do. So, this is the second part of the mathematics courses that you're going to do in uh, pre-medical sciences. So, this is one of the most pivotal courses that you're going to do in terms of medicine because this is a lot of uh, research oriented course and more related to biology than any other course that you might have uh, taken in mathematics. So this, this is an undergraduate level biostatistics course. So the learners, uh, you will be introduced to statistics and the study designs that we do in biology. So on completion of this course, you will have to understand how experimental designs work and how quasi experimental designs, observational studies, and how to meet the regulatory guidelines and how to collect, analyze and interpret data using the appropriate statistical tools. So these are the skills that you will use in biostatistical research in healthcare as well as any other biology related fields. So a lot of scope is towards epidemiology and public health. So the importance of having uh, these skills is because it can it's recognized that within public health sectors, so relating to the analysis of drug effectiveness, risk factors for different illnesses, so the effectiveness of the healthcare interventions as well as helping understand how biological phenomenon work. So this is the common uh, principles or common applications where you would see biostatistics. So in terms of the course outline, uh, the first part of the course up to about four chapters uh, mostly looks at how the introduction of biostatistics, basically the introduction to the statistics part of the biostatistics. And from fifth chapter, we'll be talking more about how to analyze and how to analyze data and how to interpret data based on the analysis. So, and we'll also study a lot of study design and how to design experimental studies. So, for example, uh, if you take a drug trial, how to conduct a randomized clinical trial or what is the procedure for conducting a randomized clinical trial and how do you assess the data that you get from the randomized clinical trial. And the main focus of this particular subject is to reduce one and only one thing that is bias and error. So we are trying to eliminate two things. One, we are trying to eliminate errors as much as we can, but there are always errors in anything. And because data is not always the same. And the main thing that we are trying to eliminate is bias so that we have uh, no bias in the results that we produce. So in terms of the course grading scheme, we will have graded quizzes about 22.5 percent of the course midterm examination about 22.5 percent of the course professionalism about 10 percent and comprehensive final examination about 45 percent so for each and every chapter i'll be providing a comprehensive pre-recorded video lecture with the theory and the practice problems and you can find it in the modules on the canvas home page so the text that i recommend is fundamentals of biostatistics by bernard rosner so I have uploaded the PDF file on Canvas under the resource modules. I would recommend you to buy this textbook because it would be a good reference to you in the future. So I will be conducting a doubt clearing session every Thursday from 1 to 3 unless others specified that I will not. So please feel free to contact me if you have any doubts during the week. I can also conduct an impromptu session in the middle of the week if, uh, if needed provided I check the schedule that I have with other classes. So the sessions will be done using Google Meet. So I'll be sending a Meet link prior to the session so that you can attend it. Plus, please attend all the sessions so that it will be helpful. Even if you do not have any doubts, it might help you in understanding how the other person might have reached to a certain doubt. So all the examinations will be proctored. Every graded quiz will be held in every Thursday from 1 to 3. So the proctoring will be done using Google Meet. So I'll be sending a meeting link to access that. And please make sure that you sit in a good lit place, nicely lit place and also a place where you have a good internet access. So non proctored examinations will not be counted towards the final grade. So for any further information, so please contact me on my email or you can contact me through Canvas using the inbox feature on Canvas. So thank you and I will see you in the next lecture.